Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. So, in this episode, it's mob farm time. But there's a few things we need to make first of all. So let's get on and start doing those. Well, at least I want to do a few things. So the first thing I would like to make is an XP... and oh, I'm looking for a dispenser. I see the one I was thinking about making is this one here. I'm not sure whether we can actually make it. Soul urn, stone, and some moss stone. Moss stone's dead easy. Just find some, some cobblestone, gives you moss stone. Uh, so it's really, really straightforward to do that one. I think there's a chisel recipe here, but you've got to have moss stone in the first place. So I've prepared some moss stone. In fact, I was going to do this one, but I need, I've need. got two soul urns. I just need two redstone torches. Let's make those up. It might well, and some redstone, wasn't it? So I think we need four bits of redstone. And some sticks. I think I've seen sticks in here. I only want two, don't I? I want that redstone torch for something else, by the way. So let's just do this one, because I don't think... I saw four... <laughs> yes. We need to do that one in here. Now that probably means I haven't got the bits and pieces I need. Um, let's try it anyway. Stone. Just missing some plain stone. We need four pieces of plain stone. So we have a black a block dispenser. Now this is a bit lower in requirements than the mechanical user, so I actually can use it now. I think I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, we'll try it. We'll try it towards the end of the episode if we can do that. I think it's probably a good thing. The first thing I want to do is make another pickaxe. This time I'm going to do a luck pickaxe. So here I've got the rest. What I'm going to do is get the pickaxe thing going. For, so I've got a cobalt pickaxe head to match this one. This is also cobalt, I think. Yes. And I'm going to use an iron binding because that's magnetic and that pulls items to you. And a copper tool rod so we get uh, um, XP when we mine. In fact, talking about that. There's quite a few different ways of getting XP in this pack. So, obviously the first way to do it is to uh, grind mobs and they'll drop XP. And that's actually the point of today's episode. We don't want to do it manually, we want to get it automated. Another way to do it is actually put items in certain items when they're in the furnace they cook. What I'm doing here, let's put this, I'm only going to upgrade this for some lapis lazuli one to give it some fortune, because I just got another tip. I'm not sure how many, or stick as much as we can on here, I think. Oh, how much can we put on? Durability, speed 12, fortune 1. Clumsy. I think I probably can put some more lapis lazuli on there. Let's just do that. Take another stack of it, let's see if we can get more of it on. The more the merrier. In fact, I think it even, even improves over time, but... What have we got now? It should tell me control. I used all that up as well, my goodness. It's quite easy and quite a lot. Luck one. Oh, I've got luck on it now. And fortune. Alright, good. I think that'll do because I'll run out of lapis lazuli if I'm not careful. So, anyway, this is the pickaxe I'm going to use for doing that stuff. But I think it will improve over time. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure. Right, what I was talking about? Yes, I was talking about XP. So you can cook things in the furnace, and that will give you... Um, so I don't really can see recipes in here. The standard furnace, but you can get XP from cooking things. I got quite a lot from silkworms. So if we look, for example, for silkworms in, in here... And the cook to re look for the recipe of that... You see it drops 0.7 XP when it's cooked in the standard furnace. And nothing in the redstone furnaces or anything else, but in a normal furnace it drops 0.7 XP. That's the second way of doing it. Another way to do it is, as it was also a tip I got, by the way, by um, Phoenix Prince. And he says you can do it by mining coal and uh, quartz. They're the, probably the best too, I think. In fact, I get it all the time because I'm using this pickaxe here. And these pickaxes with copper handles, so that this one here, the cobalt pickaxes, 
both have got uh, what's it called well established which basically gives you XP as you mine and the last way to get it in this back is to get it from the quest we don't always get some of that but you do quite often I was gonna make one of these in fact uh, a light need some redstone in fact, I can make a few of these this was something I was reading about don't ask me why I thought about it but it's because of those filaments I made by accident <laughs> Hmm. Try again. This is actually better with mods. I was reading it in the better with mods uh, wiki, to be honest with you. So, light blocks. They give you lots of light. So let's go and put those down. I think I might need a redstone signal on these. I'm not 100% sure. If I do, I'll make one later on. We'll just test it out over here first of all, because these poor, but these poor things here haven't grown at all. Let's just put up one of these light blocks here, and it should. Let's see if it works. It doesn't look like it's on at the moment. So I would need a lever. I haven't got any levers. Let's go and make two levers and see if this works. In fact, let's go and put the other one over here. There, I think. I should have made levers to start. I should have made some levers to start with, shouldn't I? No, wait for the room. Thank you. Right, I got back up. I've got, been backed up. All right, I've got, I've got two four levers. That'll do fine. I probably need those levers for something else, but never mind. So I think, can we put them direct on there? Oh, yes, there we go. And then it lights up, as you can see. Fact, if I... No, I'm not sure how to do it. If I press it doesn't show you in this pack so well but we get light and these things then should start to grow we'll see when we come hopefully we'll, we'll see some progress when we've been, been doing that for us for a bit later on so what else do we need to do I want to make another XP pylon so let's do that first this one so we need a hopper, some vines, and I don't think it matters what type, a fire charge, some ice, oh, some nether bricks and some gold, and some lime dye. Now lime dye is dead easy, we just take, we need two pieces of that, one of those, one of those, and we should get some two pieces of lime dye. So green and white make lime, that's no big deal. We needed a hopper. I think I've got some chests in there, but I've forgotten five pieces. Yes, we do. Good. So let's carry on with this. I shift click it into place and we should get a hopper. So that's that one. Fire charge. What do we need for that one? So coal, gunpowder and blaze powder. No big deal. Can I reach those from here? Coal. No, I can't have to go back. Gunpowder. I've been sieving for gunpowder and blaze. I wonder if it's actually no it doesn't matter until the slightest it's just a a shapeless crafting recipe so what else do we need and two nether bricks we've got those and some vines we've got those vines we need two and nether bricks we need two good thing I made those last episode wasn't it really I should have everything we need now. Gold. I well, didn't get gold. It's a shame I can't use a mouse button on there. It doesn't work very well. So we should be able to make our XP pile on now. And we can indeed. Fantastic. The next thing we need to do is to make something by the mob mashing brigade. What I want to do is I want to make the blower. Now, here's the blower mob fans that's what it's called so we need some stone slabs some ingots of iron four of those and one block of redstone not too difficult let's get that done four of these and four slabs stone slabs i might have in here i've certainly got one or two somewhere about so i've got five great okay let's do that then
So we should be able to make this straight away. A mob fan. The mob fan needs a redstone signal. So I can either use a torch or a, more likely I'm going to use a lever. So we'll use a lever. And the next thing I want to do is to get some speed upgrade or some distance upgrades. A mob fan upgrade. And we need... Um, I'm going to make two of these. So we need eight feathers, two redstone and eight iron. So let's get the, the eight iron out of here. Two redstone, wasn't it? I think, and four feathers. So eight feathers. Good thing I made those traps, and it was very nice of you to tell me as well. So Zero Life told me about that. That was a great tip. So we should be able to shift these in. Yeah, we can get two. I'm only doing two to start with. Maybe we can need more later on. I'm not 100% sure. So now what I'm going to go and do, I think everything's ready. There is one thing else, another thing I've done. And that is to put down the Magnum Torch. Or a Mega Torch. It used to be called the Magnum Torch, wasn't it? So I didn't want to really be bothered with mobs while I'm sitting at the mob factory. <laughs> and it should be here. Yes, it is. Good. So I think I showed you part of this in the previous episode. So what I've got here is I've got an XP pylon. I'm not using the one I've just made for here. Underneath here, I've got a diamond spike. And somewhere about, I think I've put also the, the ender tether. I think it was beside the spike. Oh yes, it's just there. You can't see it. Let's just move this out of the way. Yeah, there's the ender tether. So if any endermen spawn, we'll be able to get those sorted out as well. So in fact, my inventory is usual, as usual, over full. I don't need these with me. I don't need the gold spikes at the moment. I certainly don't need the urns. Let's take those out of the way. Right. So that's what I've set up here. So the idea is that the mobs come down, fall onto the spike and get ground. I'm going to leave a hole here. Hopefully I don't have any problems with that, so we'll see. Oh, I did forget something, didn't I? But I'll come to that in a minute. So what I want to do now is get across over here. What can I use to get across over here? We'll use these stones. Yeah. Because I want to put the fan down here. So I'm going to put the fan down here. In fact, I probably should test it, shouldn't I? See how far we go. Let's get into here like this. I cannot get into here exactly. Let's try going up here. No, can't do that. Let's get in here like this. So we should come down here and get blown. So what I'm going to do first of all is to remove that diamond spike. <laughs> of course, it's a bit more difficult now because I've just put these in the way. Let's just get these out of the way. Let's just... Uh, Mine this up and get rid of the spike. What I haven't got with me is the drop of evil. And that's the reason why I'm doing this in here. I'm doing this in here because with a drop of evil, uh, we should be able to get a second drop of evil. In fact, it doesn't really matter because of what I can do. So I can take one of the blocks. So let's put the old fan down like this. So that's the direction of the fan here. It's blowing. So we can then turn it on. So we'll put the switch here. In fact, I, well, it's not going to be work for me at the moment. Let's just move this out of the way and get this switch onto that block there. Yeah. I need to put the upgrades in. I'll show you why. Turn it on. Pushes me here. I need to go a little bit further to get down to here. Like that. Of course, I'm going to get stuck and I can't get back out again. Never mind. <laughs> right. So we'll try that again. See how I'm doing this, of course. I'm getting XP, so it's not even that bad. So we have to turn this off. I probably can't get into this space again anymore. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll move this out of the way. Right now, I can get in here. So when I put these two fans in, we'll test it again. I should get pushed all the way through into that hole. Oh no, I've got to go one more. Okay. So that means we've got to go back home and make well, go and do one more. Okay, let's just do that. Put this block down there and don't take so much fall damage. And I'll also get the, the spike at the same time. Oh, 
Oh, there's a flashy blue light then. Don't ask me what was going on. So we need to make another one of those. So that's actually not too bad. And after my derps last time, I decided to move this down a bit. As you can see, if any um, um, magma cubes decide to attack me, they should fall right down there and they shouldn't be able to get out. At least I hope. I also put a little archway there, so there's a little way to get out just in case I do the same thing again. I probably won't be doing so though. Once was enough. <laughs> I actually don't even know why I died. In fact, it, whatever one exploded, exploded killed all its siblings as well. Right, what do we want? Another one of those. We need four more feathers. Four more pieces of iron and one more piece of redstone. I've got the redstone on me, but I... Okay, and I've got the iron on me as well. But let's do that again. This one. I can make two. Did I take... Okay, I'll take one with me. And we'll take it with us the drop of evil here. Which is good. I don't need this block dispenser with me either, but I'll put that in the bag. And I don't need the fireballs. Let's get rid of the fireballs. We've used those for what we wanted to do. Let's get that sorted out. Good. I think that'll do. So, I've decided I'm using a diamond spike because I want the mob player drops. Diamond spikes give you XP and mob player drops. And gold spikes give you mostly XP and not so many mob um, drops. In fact, I think it might even give you more XP than the standard one. So, right, here we go. But I'm lucky. Actually, I shan't put it like that, can I? So I'll put another one into there now. Let's give this a test. Boom. Right, that's working just fine. So we can now put the spike back again. Oops. Wrong one. I'll try again. And then we can fill this hole in so that they can't get out. Try that like that. Then I can remove these, of course. And I think that's almost it. Almost we are all we have to do is I actually have to go back again. I should find a better way of doing this. What I could do, of course, is to... No, I don't know. So, right. So, I think it's just about already. Let's just close this all up. And one slab. Is that closed up? Yeah, that's fine. I don't think they can get out. So let's give it a go. By the way, the lapis lamp here doesn't prevent the mobs. If I press F7, it actually is a bit deceptive. It says this is dark, but this is actually not. This is light. It's actually not true. If I remove the lapis, lapis lamp, you'll see here is also dark. It might be sensible to actually um, put a redstone torch down here, but put the lapis lamp here for the time being it it actually makes it dark for the mobs but not for us so all we now have to do I hope we've got this right let's double just quickly double check it that's running so it's pushing down to this spike here and I don't think there's any place for the mobs to get out so let's just turn, hit that like that and straight away mobs are dropping <laughs> well that'll do I don't know what we just dropped there. Let's have a look what we got in here. 1160 XP already. Fantastic. So let's just uh, clear this down. And see what drops we got. Anything. Hard to, hard to know. In fact, hard to say. Let's go down here. Oop. Let's not go down there. <laughs> huh. All right. 
tell you what I'll do. I'll put some blocks here like that. I should be I shouldn't be too bad actually because there's a how do we get out of here? Base. Because this I put down the um mega torch so they shouldn't be able to get out of here. Oh, I'll have to oh, I think I just went through here altogether, didn't I? Oh well, I can hear some zombie pigmen getting it now. Huh. Now that's a challenge for me. <laughs> Base is over there, so let's go that way. And I'll turn off F7 while I'm here. messing around here and I don't really want to. I thought I could get out here. Tell you what we'll do. Oh there's some steps up here look. And they're on the left hand side that means it's my way out. Right hand side so left hand side is this side. Have we got any torches with me? Ah, I know it's this way actually. I just couldn't see the torch. I've got any torches, me? No, I haven't. I always have. I'm pretty sure I put torches on this side. Left hand side. Okay. Oh, left hand side. So I'll put a torch down here just to make so you can see it from that. For when you're coming in, if I can, it's probably. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe they're a bit better. So what the next thing I need to do here, of course, is to make a stair, it is down here, I oh, guess. A way of being able to, um, so I should be able to pick the stuff up here, look. What did I just pick up? Ah, oh, some bones, some with the bones. So it's definitely working. I just need some way to be able to pick up this stuff. Maybe a hopper would be a good solution. Let's try that. Well. <laughs> it's working. I can hear another piggy getting killed. So, that, so that's good. So that's going to give us XP. But I really do need a way to be able to pick up the drops, don't I? Now hoppers do pull a certain area. So let's go and make another hopper. And if I put that beside the um, the diamond spike just underneath it, it might work just fine. Let's just try that. You'll also notice I haven't removed the mega torch. And so we don't need this, so this is fine. So let's get the hopper recipe going. We need a hopper. In fact, I can remember we did one just a minute ago. What was it in? Oh, it was the XP pile and wasn't it? what the recipe was for this one. That's the easiest way of doing it. In fact, what I could also do is to take a piece of dirt with me. And I'll show you why. Ah, oh, I haven't got any dirt with me, have I? I need to make one. So look, 20 apples. I need 10 apples. I'll let that I'll let that do while this is while we're putting the hopper down. I think it shouldn't take too long. But I need to eat as well. If they're falling down. I've actually got no idea if this is going to work. What I really want is an absorption hopper. But in order to get that I need some obsidian. And obsidian's going to be part of the next episode, I reckon. I heard some more banging then, so that was working again. 
So with a bit of luck, if we knock out this one, like that, and then put the hopper down here, it might catch some drops. Let's have a look. I know it's not catching anything. Now, have I still got this block underneath here? I've removed it. Whatever it is, is magic. Ah, okay. It isn't working as well as wanted it to. Never mind. At least for that bit. But we'll see if it does work over time. And maybe over time it does work. So, anyway, let's have a look at the XP. 58 1160 I don't think it's increased that much anyway I hope it should be in range one two actually it might not be in range <laughs> oh dear the reason it should be need to be three blocks away so let's actually get that thing out of here first of all then so I need to come up here I think I've got this out of range to wait for it to quieten down a bit before I do this if it's going to be anywhere it'll be here so let's just put it here oh look at all those drops <laughs> oh see that's why I need the absorption hopper so anyway let's put this hopper down here now the XP hopper down here fulfill that we invented that's why I couldn't get anything more I think Let's have a look now. No XP in there. Collect orbs, always on. Well, I don't know. Is it not dropping the XP? Certainly getting a lot of drops if I could get them. But anyway, I'll have to figure that out between now and the next episode. I would like to get some lower. I think I know what I was doing wrong with it last time. What I was doing wrong with it is I think I need to go down one block. So what I'm going to do between episodes is I'm going to take myself a mega torch with me and I'm going to put it down in the polar chasm area. And this is where I've built the second mob farm. Here. You can just see it. I put a door. A door is probably not an ideal solution here. What I want to do down here, this is where the mobs are going to fall down. So let's put down in here. I've got loads of mob stuff, haven't I? I didn't drop it off. Let's just put it up here. Now I reckon I should be able to put this below. Let's put this below two blocks. There. I'll probably have to move that torch in that case. And then I can put on top of that. I don't think we can put a spike on top of it. Let's, we could try. Let's just put these spikes down like that. Might be too low. Oh, I can put a spike on it. Oh, good. Let's get that spike up. And then let's get this up a lot. Got to go down and get that now, of course. <laughs> Without getting just myself tangled on the spikes. See, I've actually got prepared this a bit. But I have to do the same thing as I did last time. Like that. So we can then put the XP pile on here. Well, if this works, then maybe I'll try that on the other one as well. And we put the to Oh, missed. Where's that gone to? Four. I lost it somewhere. I'll tell you what I'll do. Oh, it's there. Good. 
I'll put it down properly instead of messing around with it. And that should be all we need to do for that now. But we obviously we need a way to get. Um, I've only got one piece of netherrack. I have. I'm going to get a lot more netherrack in a minute anyway. Because one of the things I've been told is to. Um, and if the, the entrance is here. For the doorway. Actually, I can get through there. Like this. So any mobs come along here will fall down, but endermen will take the walls. So we need to get rid of these walls, so let's get rid of the walls first of all. That's why I've got all of this um, stone with me. I'll just put you down like that. And like that. I wonder if there's a better way of doing this. Such a good pick, it should would make would make sense to be able to do it like this. Yes. So if I set this to two by one mode, then I can drill straight through here like this. And it won't go past there. So I'll do the same on this one. Like that. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> right, while he's, do, while he's uh, doing that, let's just put this wall up here. If I get to the very end of this wall here... Nope, the first thing I'll do is drill the next hole out of here. You'll see there's a, oh, another hole. Didn't, did I do that? Or was it already there? It might have already been there, actually. That one I did definitely do. And the last one wants to be here. So we can then drill these across, I think. Mm -mm, not quite. So this one wants to be down like that. This one wants to be at the top. Because it always goes down one and it's going to be straight across like that. Very noisy piggy. <laughs> it's taking a very long time to die. <laughs> so do the same thing again here. I must have gone too far. I didn't dig this one up. I thought I did. Oh, you didn't. Let's try that one. Oh, bucket of lava. Oh, I've got my chalice here. Let's just get my chalice out. Got it. Now I'm going to have to eat. Until that disappears. Right. <laughs> of course, I'll lose the another uh, asket off this flames. So I've got one more to drill out. This is just here. So let's put that one down there. And let's just drill this one out. Yeah, that's good. For some reason I must have missed this area, but I don't know why. Wait for my flames to go as well. Actually, I'm not doing that very efficiently, am I? Right, good. So, the best thing to do now, uh, at last I've gone out, is to use the wand. Um, hmm. Actually, it might be good to put the wand... The blocks down here as well, mind it. Like that. 
and then we can do the same thing here oh I'll have to do this twice because it's oh maybe I can do it but I'll have to do this this section manually I haven't drilled this through that's a matter we can do that very easily like that and then we can just use the the one the best thing to do for us is to take this side out first the two oh no I could do it man I can't do it the way I was hoping to do it it's not like the um, super builders one where you can actually press shift on it because that's really cool right slight break there Oops, I'm oh, being attacked again by an ember. Right, you can go down, fall down, and, and die. Good. Go. Right. Good. And I got a hole in, of course, because of the. Uh... Right. Actually, the embers attacking me quite often, even in here as well. It's a bit of a nuisance, but I can't think about it. Like that. Then we can just finish this off down these time. And the bit I didn't do was up here, of course, because that's where I was. And then we just finish this one off. I can close the door, because that's how it's going to be. The door's not going to be ideal in that spot. And I think that will do. It's very light in here. Why is it so light in here? What I'll do with the door. Oops, another one. Let's get number two out on me. Right. That's another little pest. <laughs> so. The other thing I need to make sure of is that it can't get out of here. See, I'm going to get more drops falling down there like that, but that's okay. We're going to lose those for the time being until I get these absorption hoppers done. So we just close this off like that. I think for the time being. But I should be able to get the uh, I should be able to get the mod drops. Now where did I get that exit to that? I'm sure I built it. I think I built it intending to go further down here. Yes. And then we get the XP orbs. So we can reach the XP orbs. And as you see, these have already got 1100, well, 2340. So I can then emit those orbs and, and they'll come into my hop, into me, which is great. And I'll find a different way of doing this. So what I'm going to do now is actually going to increase my um, building skills again. Because we need to get building up to something like 32 before I can use the mechanical user. So let's have a look. I think that'll do. What I was going to do is put a block here, wasn't I? That's the thing I was going to do. But because the door's in the way, I might have to do it like this. Then they can't get out. Even if they want to bash down the door, they can't bash down the door. So what I need to do now with that, of course, is to finish it off. So let's go back. The dirt should be ready. And I'm going to use the my pick because my pick has got silk touch on it and it should be able to pick up I'm hoping it will do it it should be able to pick up this one the um, cursed earth a nice freeze that So I've got to go across here, haven't I? I think I can do this. I'm not 100% sure. That's, it's not something I've tried. But if I do it here...
where did it go to put down the other dirt that dirt will also become cursed I think should do oh, I can see it there look huh maybe it doesn't become cursed I've got it and I picked it up good okay so it doesn't spread once you've done it so that's bad but anyway I shouldn't have a problem with this stuff let's just go down here again now <laughs> look at all those droppings I really would like to get some of those drops actually let's see if we can get them I can certainly get some of them but because my inventory gets full so let's see, get rid of much, as much stuff as we can in mind. Try and see what we can pick up. Oh, some bones coming down there. So, there we go. How much XP is this thing picking up? I hope it's picking up XP nothing why not that's actually not very good is it see my adventure's already full again hmm well I'm going to think about this aren't I I'm not exactly sure I've done wrong I don't really want to be here just in case I get seen by something or other. Is that oh the hop just, just pick stuff up. Maybe the hop is not in a great place. But this ex this experience orb should be working and I'm not sure why it's not doing. Let's put that there. Get the experience orb out again. With the bones. Well, I've come to the end of this episode again. Now, between episodes, I'm going to try and figure out how to get obsidian. And uh, I'm also going to, well, because I really do need to get the absorption hoppers there. Then we really get the mob drops. Maybe I try moving that um, hopper a little block higher up. Maybe it'll work if I do that. Not sure. I'll try a few things and let you know next time. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this though this episode tongue-tied again and i'll see you next time bye for now